Emilio Magnucci here from the Bruno Brothers and uh, we're at our warehouse where we're going to show you how we make burrata. Come on with me. So the burrata starts out with a really great curd and we use the best curd in the pizza business which is grande curd. The grande curd we get a 97% yield because we know how to put the burrata together really, really quickly. We put the curds into uh, another bin with instant hot uh, water. Using a wooden paddle to help stretch the curd brings it right back to where it needs to be so that it's nice and tender and pliable. This is what we use as a stracciatelle um, or old cream. What we do is we, we whip uh, heavy cream and we add the pieces of the curd into the heavy whipping cream to give it texture, which is traditionally what you would get from Italy. Folding it in, keeping it nice and airy. It's all technique. Mozzarella, burrata, it's all technique. We're taking a burrata, we're going to flatten the burrata, roll it out with a tiny rolling pin. Now the curd is still hot, we want to work quickly. Um, we're going to fill this up and then make a nice little beggar's purse and we're going to wrap them. We put a nice amount of stracciatelle on the inside. And you see, it's all technique. Working with curd, you need to be very, very quick. It's all done by hand. We bundle it up in a little bit of saran wrap to keep it. Then we'll drop him in the ice when he's done. But he's not finished yet. What he's going to do is tie the burrata. And we have different colored ribbons. Uh, the white ribbon means it's a plain burrata, just plain uh, cream and stracciatelle. If we had it wrapped with the green ribbon, that would be the basil pesto one. And if we do it with black, that's going to be the black truffle one. In Italy, what's traditionally used in Apulia are lily leaves. But because we're in the, the States, we're not allowed to use lily that's not edible. You have to use an edible plant, so we use the leaf. What the leaf signifies is the age of the burrata. So when they're nice and fresh, as you can see, the leaves are fresh and new, and they're kind of bright in color. Now, as the burrata ages, this will dry out. The leaves will dry out and become darker, drier, brown, more brown, and you would know that it's not as fresh. And that's the reason in Apulia. So when you go to the markets, the farmer's markets there, you know it, how old the burrata is. So now what we did was just drop that in, in the uh, water bath to cool it down. It'll be cool inside of about 20 minutes, a half an hour, and then we'll bucket them and send them on their way. All the burratas that we make are always made to order. So orders a place for them, and then we ship them out to our customers. Burrata, unlike, unlike fresh mozzarella, fresh mozzarella is best to be eaten in, you know, 24, at least 24 hours later, not within the same time frame. The enzymes need to set up. And then once, once, you, once you have burrata that's at least a day old, between that first day and that third day, it's really at its peak. So that's why we take orders for them, and we make them fresh to order. So we get them to our customers, either in the small size like this, or in the larger size like this. So so what you're going to get on the inside is very runny, creamy burrata that is uh, just about ready to go. So you see how that the beggar's purse is just kind of giving, and when you cut into that and serve that, it just oozes out. Burrata has so much flavor from the cream and the curd that it's just, I mean, it's just really great to eat like that. We've been doing it uh, here at the Bruno Brothers for the last eight years. We're very proud of the burrata that we make today.